Hey, this is Rod Moore here from More Art School. Welcome to this video. I want to talk to you today about how to make $2,000 to $4,000 a month as an art teacher running your own art teaching business. Now, you might be a professional artist right now and you've been making your income from selling art. And if you're like a lot of artists that I know, professional artists, you might be finding that market is disappearing or it's drying up or it's becoming harder and harder to sell your art today because galleries are closing. And you might be looking for other ways to make money. Or you could be like me, like I never really thought about getting into galleries. Um, I prefer teaching, right? So I love teaching students how to paint and I'm a reasonably good artist, but I'm a very good art teacher. Um, so you could be like me and, and just enjoy the teaching side as much as the painting side. So what I want to show you in this video is how you could make $2,000 to $4,000 every month teaching art, okay? So I did a, a previous video where I talked about how to make $500 uh, a day, right? $500 a day in a day teaching a one-day workshop, okay? So I'm not going to go back over the maths for that. Watch the other video on $500 a day teaching the workshop. But basically to make $2,000, you're going to need four one-day workshops times $500 profit, right? Um, would give you $2,000. So that would be one day a week, right? It's a part-time business. Um, if you doubled that and you did eight one-day workshops at 500, right? Then that would give you 4,000. Hence the reason why I talk about making two to $4,000 in a month. This is two days a week work, teaching, art classes. This is one day a week work. This is part-time. This is starting to get a bit more regular sort of full-time art teaching. Now, that's the sort of start of it. That's not the end of the money. A lot of artists have very narrow thinking um, in how they go about you know, trying to monetize what they do. They have limited thinking, I find. If you think that's the end of the money, that's really just the start of the money. If you're running eight classes with 10 people, then that's 80 positions a month you have to fill, right? Um, a month. Now, if you try and find 80 fresh people every month, you're going to struggle, right? It's going to be a lot of marketing, a big marketing machine to get those 80 people. So what I discovered when I was running classes was that I could get 80% of them to turn into regulars. And I, I've been teaching my, those people who are going through my more certified instructor program, I've been teaching them how to turn um, the people coming through their one day classes, turn them into regulars. And it's, there's a couple of things that are involved in, in doing that. How do you turn people into regulars? The first thing you need is a system. Okay, so you need a system to help them get what they want. Now you think about people who come along to an art class, what is it that they want? They want to have a happy, fun time. They want to enjoy the company of the other people. They want to have a few laughs. They want to learn a little bit about art, right? In beginner's market, they don't want to become experts in the one day. Um, but they want to walk home with a finished painting that they're proud of. That's the most important thing. So I developed a system, which I call a more method of painting. Okay, because I found that a lot, lot of artists, more method of painting. Okay, there's a lot of very good artists out there, and maybe you're one of them. Right? I'm not the best artist in the world. I readily admit that I'm an okay artist. Right, very good teacher, um, and I'm and I'm quite good at building an art business. Um, but I'm only an okay artist. Maybe you're better than me as an artist, and that's great. But here's what I found. A lot of very good artists are very bad teachers. They have no clue on teaching. They think that they, they are there to demonstrate how good they are, right? And that's not what an art class is all about if you want to build a business out of it, okay? If you want to build a business out of it, you're there to help your students walk home with something that they're really proud of and happy with and they've got a smile on their face and their husband or wife goes, wow, that's amazing. I didn't know you were so talented. And they go, well, neither did I. And they put it on the wall, right? Every day they look at it and that makes them want to come back to do more classes. So if you're a very good artist and you've tried teaching in the past but you had trouble getting people to rebook, have a think about that, right? Why, you know, you got to think about why are those people there and why are you there? You're not there to entertain them or to... Uh, to entertainment is important, I mind you, um, but you're not there to be the entertainer and you're not there to demonstrate how brilliant you are, that's for sure. So I developed a system, so we're talking about getting regulars here, a system of teaching called the Moore Method of Painting, right? 
Um, and then I developed what I also call an offer, an irresistible offer. I would have written irresistible, but I can't spell it and it wouldn't fit in the box necessarily. But when, if you want to get regulars, you've got to make an irresistible offer to them. You've got to give them an incentive to book again and to book now. Right? So you want to get them to book again and to do it now. Right? The better you get at that, what happens is these positions each month that you have available start to fill up quicker. And the quicker they fill up, the, when people go and look at your website and they see you've only got two places left for the next class, the urgency factor is higher. So you start to build momentum, right? So you need to have an offer that makes the people who come to your classes book again and to book now, right now before you leave today. You're going to fill out this form, give me your credit card details. We're going to book you in for the next four or five classes that we run. And if you do that, then you've got the month filled up of, of students. You're just rebooking everyone, right? Um, but then there's this intangible factor that's important as well. I'll call it rapport, okay? They've got to love you, right? So you do need to be an entertainer to a degree. More important, you've got to become like a celebrity in their eyes, not a celebrity in the big world, but in their minds. They've got to think, wow, isn't Rod great? You know, like I really love hanging around him. We always have a laugh in our classes. So I learned through experience that I start off my classes by making people laugh, right? And I make them laugh all the way through it just by, you know, I've got a few little jokes that I tell routinely and they work well, but also just through because I enjoy it. I have a happy time and I, I like to laugh and so everyone around me laughs. If you're a grumpy art teacher, this number here, 80% regular, it drops, right? And I know this because I had periods where I, you know, things weren't going that great in my life when I'm teaching art classes and, and I did notice a drop off, right? When I was happy, the, uh, the rebookings go through the roof when I'm happy. And so that's a little tip for you there, right? So we're talking about here running two classes a week, 80 positions. If you start to do that regularly, not, you might not start there at that point. You might start where you're running one class a week, fill those up, then get those people to start rebooking, and over a period of two or three months, um, you can then start to get these 80% regulars. So what I recommend if you're just starting out, month one, month two, month three, month one, you run one class with 10 people. Month two, you run, you ramp it up to four. So you've now got 40 positions. And I call this positions because um, you know, you're talking about one class a week, you might have the same person who fills one of those positions each week. So you don't need 40 people necessarily, right? You might only need 10 people if you get 100% rebook rate. So that's why I call them positions. Month three, you can then you know, go to six classes. So one um, in week one, you do one. Week two, you do two classes. Week three, you do one. Week four, you do two, right? So you end up with six classes, six positions. Week, month four, so there's month two, three, and four, you then get to eight, and you've got 80 positions to fill, right? Now, again, this is all based on the $500 a day, one day workshop. Um, check out the other video on that for the maths behind that, right? So very quickly, you can get to, you know, 4,000, but let's talk about 2,000. You know, what sort of difference would $2,000 make in the average artist's life? A lot, right? If you're, if you're relying on your art to make money and, and it's not going as well as it needs to be, then just running one art class a, a week could bring you in $2,000, right? It's, it's um, $24,000 a year. It's not bad money, given that it's still within the realm of your passion, or I assume it's your passion. If it's not your passion, then what are you watching this video for, right? Um, you don't have a passion for it, let me just wipe this off. And because that's not the end of the money, that's just the start of the money, right? It's the start of the money. Let's say I work on the $2,000 figure, okay? So we're talking about one class a week, we're talking about four classes a month times 10 people gives us 40 positions. Two, and that's going to give us $2,000 profit, right? Whoop. Let me just dry that off. My apologies. Okay, we're talking about $500 profit from each class, four art classes a month. Um, what are we doing here? $2,000. Okay, that's not the end of the money. It's the start of the money. 
this is an engine that drives a marketing business, right? So from there, you can then leverage down, you could have your paintings for sale. I'll do a little bit of a mountain there because I like doing landscapes, trees, little cottage, right? Okay, you can have your paintings for sale, thousand dollars, you can sell them to people in your class, right? So you can easily then start to give yourself another revenue stream of selling paintings through your classes. Now, be careful with the venue. Some venues don't want you selling paintings. Well, most places it's okay, but um, just make sure you check if you're hiring the venue, okay? So that's the first thing you do. The next thing you do is sell DVDs, right? You can have a display of DVDs all set up, and you can sell your DVDs for $30 to $60 each. Or you can have five DVDs, they pay for four, they get the fifth one free, right? So you can easily monetize it through that. You can monetize it through um, art supplies. So I'll draw some brushes. You think I was a better drawer? There's a fan brush, right? And a script liner brush. Um, so supplies, you could sell supplies. You could get a, a wholesale account from a big art supply company and you can have a, a starter kit, right? And we've got canvases, paints, brushes, all set up as a starter kit and so on. I used to do that, right? I've done all three of these um, things so far. Here's the other thing you could do, is you could sell five day or three day uh, workshop retreats, right? Um, and I'll do a picture here of a beach. Let's say we go somewhere exotic with in the tropical mountains and sand. And um, we're going to do five day painting. There's, there's an easel, right? We're going to go and paint a five day workshop and we're going to charge them $2,000 for that, right? So these people who become regulars, there's other money streams that are available to you, right? So it's not, this is not the end. This is the start of the money. There's lots of different ways that you can um, you know, sell them other things. Now, there's a couple of other things as well. Here's what I have branched out and do and specialise in and what I'm teaching. Those people are going through the more certified instructor program. I'm teaching them how to create their own online courses, right? You can create your own online learn to paint courses using your mobile phone, which is what I'm recording this on, my mobile phone. I'm in my garage, which is my little makeshift studio here, and I'm creating online courses all the time and selling them to people who come to my classes and into my database and so on. Very, very doable. Online courses, I've charged you know, between $7 and what's our most expensive one? $9.97, okay? Online courses, you can sell these people. So again, this is not the end of the money, this is the start of the money, if you think right and you know how to do all these things, right? So online courses, what else could you do? You could sell more classes, right? So the key to selling more classes is to sell them as a, as a don't sell ones, sell them a block of 10, right? So if they're paying $97, that'd be normally $970, sell them to them for $790. So they get a discount, but you've got places full for the next umpteen months, right? So sell bulk classes. You could sell gift certificates, right? Let's say Mary comes along with her first class. She absolutely loves it. She's got a sister who she thinks would love it. And the sister has a birthday coming up. Why not sell a gift certificate, a, a, a package of three classes and a couple of DVDs and an online course all in the one gift certificate for $2.97, right? And um, Mary, who's just been through the class, could get a gift to get for her sister's birthday or for anyone else's with Christmas coming up. So can you, can you see that this is unlimited to what you can do here? It's all limited by your own thinking. Um, and as an artist, we need to expand our view of possibility, right? Expand our view of possibility. There's more money to be made teaching art when you start to look at the revenue streams than you believe, right? Now, how far can you go with this? Well, I mean, if you look at Bob Ross, I think it's probably the greatest example. Um, go on TV and start his own supplies line. Now, I don't know how much money they made, but I'm assuming that it's a multi-million dollar a year business, or at least it was in its peak. It might still be, might not be. I really have no idea. 
But just on a rough estimate, I'd say it would have been at some point a multi-million dollar business. At least, at the very least, there's been millions of dollars made through that business, right? So that's, that's the upper stratosphere, you know, of where you could go. Somewhere in between $2,000 a month part-time and Bob Ross style business is where you and I are going to fall, right? Um, it's up to you. Maybe you're happy at $2,000. That's $24,000 a year on top of whatever art sales you're currently making. All of this is possible. All of it's doable. And I'll tell you why in another video why I'm so excited about doing all this because there's never been a better time in history. It really hasn't. And I just want to shake you and say, look, there's never been a better time in history to do all of this because of technology. There's a global marketplace now, right? It's a global marketplace. I've got people in the uh, more certified instructor program right now in New Zealand, in Canada, in Ireland, in America, in Australia, Saudi Arabia, um, and a few other countries I can't even think of, right? Global marketplace that you can do all this with, okay? So I hope this has got you excited. $2,000 is definitely possible a month. $4,000 as well if you work a little bit harder at it. This is part-time money. This is starting to get towards full-time. Doing all these things would be moving you to a full-time income, right? Um, now, if you want to find out more about the More Certified Instructor Program, how I can help you fast-track all of this, I'll put a link underneath this video. Click the link. Go and enter your email address, and I'll tell you about what we're doing at More Art School and how we're helping people just like you start their own art teaching business around the world and doing all of this and, and realising their dream of making a living out of teaching art or, or being involved in art in some way. Check the link out underneath and I'll see you there. Happy painting and cheers for now.